hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created our spring boot project and we connected our project to a mysql database we also added a user entity in our project today we will add spring security in our application and we will implement user details in our user and at the end we will add JWT service implementation and we will write all the methods related to creation of the JWT and other operations so let's get started let's go to our uh, POM file and let's add spring security dependency here uh, the group ID is org.springframework.boot and the artifact ID is Spring Boot Starter Security. After adding the Spring Security dependencies, we need three more JJWT dependencies. So let's paste them here. So as you can see, the first one is JJWT API and the group ID for all these three uh, dependencies is io.json web token the second one is jjwt implementation and the third one is jjwt jackson the versions for all these dependencies are 0.11.5 now after adding the dependencies let's go and refresh our maven you can click this button and you can click on this refresh icon to refresh the dependencies. This will download the dependencies and update the class path. Now, as you can see, our sync is done. Now let's go to the user class and implement this class from user details. As you can see, it is giving errors and it wants me to implement uh, some of the methods that are in user details. So let's click on implement methods. And this will basically add uh, four to five methods in our user entity class. So let's click OK. So the first method is get authorities and currently by default it is returning null so we need to update this to return role of our user class so we can do that list dot off and then new simple granted authority and then role dot name the second method is get username which is email in our case so we can write here just the email the next method is is account non expired and we need to return this as true and is account non locked we can return this as true as well the next method is is credentials non expired and we can simply return this true as well and we need to update is enable to return the true because we want our user account non-locked, non-expired and enabled. Okay, let's go to user details and here you can see we interacted with pretty much all the methods from here. But you can see the one method uh, get password is not here in our user class. So because we are using a uh, Lombok data annotation and we have a field uh, with the name of password and the Lombok is already created uh, the getters and setters for this password. So it will automatically get picked from that getter and setter method. Now this is it for our user entity class and this is completed. Now uh, let's create a services package in our project. In the services, let's create a service. 
called JWT service and in the services package let's create another package with the name of ample that will hold the implementation classes for all the uh, service interfaces so let's create here the implementation of JWT service Now, don't forget to annotate this class as a service so our Spring can create its pane and inject it. In this JWT service, we will write all the methods that can generate the JWT or extract any information from our token or can check some of the fields of the token. Let's uh, start with generate token method that is responsible to build the token for us. Uh, this method will accept user details. And here in this method, we will return a string and let's start creating the JWT by using JWTS dot builder dot set subject so subject is the email of the user so we can fetch it user so we can fetch it from user details dot get username after the subject we need to set the issue date that will be new date and then system dot current time mills after the issue date we need to set the expiration so we will use dot set expiration we will use same new date system dot current mills so now we will uh, add some time in this date so let's say uh, we will multiply this 1000 with 60 and 24 so this is equals to uh, just more than one day and of course you can change this to your own requirement and at last we will sign our JWT with a key so we will use sign with so here we need a signature key so we will create another method to get this key in the next part we need signature that is that we will use hs256 and at last we will call the compact method now let's create this method get sign in key this method uh, will return a key and let's create a variable type of byte let's name it as key is equals to so we will use here decoders uh, coming from JSON web token dot uh, base 64 dot decode and here we will input our uh, secret key and then we will return keys dot h mac share key for so in this parameter we will give the key Let's paste here our uh, secret key now. You can keep this in the uh, properties file and uh, then get uh, the value here in this method. After token generate method, we need another method which will extract the username from the token. And to extract the username from token, we need a method to extract the claims uh, from our token. So for that we can create a method extract claim 
and here we will accept the uh, token and then we will accept the claim resolver and here we will uh, call another method to extract all the claims from the particular token and from that claims we will extract a particular claim so uh, let's go and create this extract all claim methods so this will be a private method and it will return claims this will accept string token return so we will use same uh, jwts dot parser builder dot set sign in key so here we will uh, call our same method get sign in key to uh, get the key and then we will call the build dot pass claims jws dot get body in the pass claims jws is required token so let's pass it now uh, this method will return all the claims from our token and we are using this here to get a particular claim so let's now create a method to get the username this method will be public string extract username oh, let's change this to small e here of course we need a token then we will return extract claim we will give the token and here we will give claim resolver as claims and then get subject so this will return the email stored in the particular token so uh, that's it for this video in this video we basically added uh, the spring security uh, dependencies in our project and we implemented the user details in our user entity class and we updated the methods according to our needs and then we created a JWT uh, service implementation and in this service we created methods like generate token, extract username, extract claims and get the sign in key. In the next video we will continue to write other methods required for this JWT service implementation. Please subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions you can write in comments.